Music and Military Library. <laughs> Thank you for joining me today. You're probably looking at me going, what is going on? Yes, we are going to talk about love today. Love is in the air. You know, we've had so many stories. We've had silly stories, funny stories, sad stories, crazy stories, counting stories, rhyming stories, but we haven't had a love story yet. So why not make it today? We're going to have a wonderful story about love. I'll talk about fun. And this story is a prickly love story. Yes, it's called Porky Piney, a prickly love story by Lisa Wheeler. Oh, love is in the air. Cushion was a porcupine with a problem. He lived in a petting zoo. That was the problem. No one would pet a porcupine. There were even signs outside his habitat that read, Do not touch and keep out. And worst of all, no petting. All the other animals got pats and pets and plenty of hugs, but not Cushion. All the other animals had family and friends for company, but not Cushion. All the other animals had someone to love. Poor Cushion had no one. At night, Cushion got especially lonesome. He'd sit in the darkest corner of his house and feel sorry for himself. He even made up a sad, sad song. I've been so lonesome all my life. No one will get near. I'm porky pining for a wife. Someone to hold me dear. <laughs> After one especially long and lonesome night, Cushion decided He'd live alone no more. If a wife won't come looking for me, I'll go looking for a wife. So that night, when all the people went home and all the lights in the petting zoo went off, Cushion went poking around. He tried finding a wife at the rabbit hutch. He sang his sad, sad song outside the door. I've been so lonesome all my life. I guess I can't be picky. I'm porky pining for a wife. And rabbits aren't too icky. <laughs> but for some reason, the rabbits got hopping mad and started poking fun at him. You're a walking burr ball, they teased. Go away, pin cushion. Cushion decided that rabbits were too jumpy and rude to make good companions. He wanted a wife who was easygoing, like him. When he noticed the pink sow lazing in the pigsty, he decided to try again. He sang his sad, sad song. I've been so lonesome all my life. And though you're pink and fat, I'm porky pining for a wife. So I won't mention that. <laughs> but for some reason, the sow just grunted and turned her back on him. Cushion got the point. Must be stuck up, he decided. I'll find a wife who has a sharper sense of humor. So he tried the beaver's lodge. They always seemed to be in a good mood. When he spied a beaver swimming in the water and reading, <laughs> Cushion sang his sad, sad song. I've been so lonesome all my life. And though your teeth are bucky, I'm porky pining for a wife. So you're a gal who's lucky. 
But for some reason, the beaver didn't appreciate Cushion's song. She started needling him. No girl in her right mind would marry you, you scrub brush. And with a slap of her tail in the water, splash, she swam away. Cushion, soaking wet and getting discouraged, tried to console himself. I know I'll find the perfect wife if I just stick with it. Suddenly, he heard a voice nearby. Psst! Hey, you! Cushion turned his head toward the voice. Me? Yes, you, whispered the voice. I heard you singing tonight. You have a lovely voice. Cushion tried to see who was speaking. He leaned closer to the sound. Stop, right there, said the voice. Can't you read the signs? Cushion looked up and read, do not touch and keep out. And worst of all, no petting. He felt a prickle run down his spine. Who are you? asked Cushion. My name is Barbara, said the sweet, clear voice. But you can call me Barb. Barb is a beautiful name, said Cushion. Are you dangerous? I don't think so, said Barb. Are you? I'm a porcupine, said Cushion. I've got quills. I've got quills too, Barb announced as she stepped into the light. I'm a hedgehog. Standing there before him was a quaint quilled creature. You don't look like a hedge or a hog, said Cushion. You're beautiful. And you don't look like pork or a pine, said Barb. You're outstanding. Cushion's heart was overflowing. He felt this was the perfect moment to sing Barb his sad, sad song, which suddenly didn't seem sad at all. I've been so lonesome all my life. Now I've met Barb so fair. I'm porky pining for a wife. We'd make a perfect pair. <laughs> and, of course, they did. Or, what would be the point of the whole story? <laughs> and that is our story time love story. A prickly love story. <laughs> Well, on that note, we're going to have to have some fun with hedgehogs and porcupines. And I happen to have some right here. Oh, let's start off with some hedgehogs. Oh, one little hedgehog looking for something to do. Along came another and that made how many? Two. <laughs> Two little hedgehogs snuffing near a tree. Along came another and that made, how many? Three. Three little hedgehogs searching for one more. Along came another and that made, four. Four little hedgehogs waiting for one to arrive. Along came another and that made, five. Five little hedgehogs. <laughs> so we just counted up to five. We went way up to five. So now we're going to bring it down. We're going to count back down this time. Well, <laughs> let's see if we can do this one. So five little porcupines rolling across the floor. One waddles off and then there were four. Four little porcupines rolling by me. One waddles off, and then there were three. <laughs> three little porcupines rolling by you. One waddles off, and then there are two. Two little porcupines 
rolling under the sun. <laughs> one waddles off, and then there was one. One little porcupine rolling all alone. He waddles off, and that leaves none. <laughs> well, we're going to have the waddle back in. We can't have anyone miss out on story time. There, there's our, our porcupines and hedgehogs. <laughs> you know, our porcupine cushion was looking for a partner. And, you know, it doesn't matter who it is, as long as it's always someone you can count on. Just like you. I can count on you for joining me each story time. Thank you. And Paris thanks you. So until next story time, keep an open heart, keep smiling, and keep reading. Bye everyone! <laughs>